Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocrats. Today I will show you how to communicate Mitsubishi VOT uh, with uh, GOT HMI. It can be GS or GOT 2000 uh, using HMI modbus communication. So this is a sample program which I am using. First of all let me show you what is the setting I have done. So this is go to the channel 1 modbus master uh, using modbus as manufacturer control type as modbus master and my interface is 42285 so this is a setting uh, my baud rate is 19200 uh, data bit is 8 bit stop bit, bit is 1 or parity is odd and all this so now this is all you have to do in the setting part click ok now I will show you the wiring systems here in wiring for GOT 1, 6, 2 and 7 is the numbers and regarding the VFD, SDA is connected to RDA, SDB connected to RDB, RDA is connected to SDA and RDB is connected to SDB. Now, let me open the manual. So, I have opened two manuals here. One is for A700 A series and another is for D700 series. VFD parameters are almost identical. So, see this is PU communication station number. You can write any one to 247 any of this number. This is the parity where I have used 192 that is default. My PU parity check is 1 at the setting. See, parity I have chosen is uh, odd and stop bit is 1. So, I am using PU parity is odd. So, odd parity is 1. So, I will use 1 here. Stop bit 1. So, this will be converted to 1 now. This is all the other parts. Now, along with this, I have used Modbus RTU protocol, one here in 509. Now, coming to the Modbus address part, uh, see here. So, running frequency, RAM value is 400. 1.4 so in HMI part section so here this is the current frequency 40014 as shown in manual here uh, let me show you some Modbus addresses, see, so you can running frequency is 1.4. Okay, now coming to the part of stop command, forward rotation, reverse rotation, high speed operation, middle operation, and low speed operation. Now, see, for this is the frequency for high, medium, and low 1004, 1006. Now, drive forward is 9.b1 bit 9.1 so here in the manual you can see 9 is the what is status and control input instruction so instruction c here forward rotation is bit number 1 Re reverse is bit number 2 okay now this forward and reverse is okay now move drive stop is bit number 0 sorry bit number 0 okay RH high medium and low command for this we need uh, the bit number for high we need bit number see bit number 3 and uh, any of the forward and reverse to be on so as I shown here the 10 values for high with forward uh, button so when you press this uh, sorry when you press forward RH command on button the frequency of high one will move along with forward button forward button will also move uh, also uh, be initiated like see that 10 value 
so the bind is 0 1 0 1 okay so in binary case 0 1 means forward initial test then 0 then 1 so 0 1 0 1 that means forward rotation command and rh operation command is executed right now now if uh, you want to use rm or rl instead of rh then it will change accordingly like as shown in 18 number in 18 number 0 means stop it is 0 1 is forward command 0 is this one is reverse command that is uh, in low state again high high values in low state and middle rm here shown rm command will be in high so 0 1 0 0 1 in manual you can see 0 1 0 0 1 this and this are on same with the low r l that is 34 34 comes out to be sorry 3 and 4 0 1 0 0 0 1 so that again comes to rl that will if you press this button the forward button will press and the bit number sorry bit number bit number 5 will be on 1 and 1 and bit number 5 this two will be on so this is the main running part of the drive now uh, output frequency you can read here output voltage output current output rpm you can all read in, as shown in modulus addresses so you can use any of the modulus address as per your application to run this uh, vfd using hmi so if you like my video please like share and subscribe